Hello my soccer universe and I would say we have to look at the final shirt from Andy's parcel. Actually in many ways it is the shirt that I probably should have unpacked first. Uh, crazy dude that I was I thought yeah I need the you know I had the other two in there so I had the Ajax jersey. I needed that one for my season review so I unpacked it first since I had already the season review background on there. And I had also the Athletic Club jersey in there next to some patches for uh, Serie A and the Premier League that I really would like to uh, apply myself or me. You know, I will do some tri uh, trial and error there. However, uh, this is a national team jersey and you saw it already. Zidane is back. What do I mean with Zidane is back? And yeah, I, I was crazy enough. I switched. I shot these three videos, <laughs> although I will space it out probably over three weeks, I shot them in sequence. And it really was crazy enough to change the background, uh, full disclosure there. Then I chose the old uh, 93, 99, 94 Brazil jersey because I think it will give us a good contrast to this Zidane jersey. Uh, I don't know how well you do know my collection, especially of national team jerseys, but there's one jersey that I was extremely proud of. Uh, there is a little bit of history. I uh, link it up. This is my France, not the 98 jersey, which is hanging right here. Let's pull it off. Which of course might all, is also Zidane. Uh, it would also be nice to have a Zidane on there. But I actually had one with Zidane, but this was the Euro 2000. And I, I'm, I was so proud of that one because that was a jersey that I had ordered. This was one of my first ever was it an online order or did I order it via catalog? I, I remember I was in France, I somehow got this catalog. I wish I had the rent. This was, must have been exactly around 2000. And maybe I got this catalog and I ordered it via catalog from France. I don't think it was yet an online order. In any case, I got the 2000 France jersey with um, a sedan only on the back and I wore it a whole lot and after about you know 10 years I saw that the back side was bubbling and then I uh, had a friend I was living in America and you can see it in the video up there but also um, in the pros uh, I, you know I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see if I have a picture uh, as well and put it, put it there um, a friend was visiting with his daughter and the daughter just went over the sedan he was so proudly showing me you know this is the sedan this is the guy and she went over the oh, 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 number and then the white part went out when it was anyway already cranking. I, I tried to play it nice, but I was devastated at that point. And I remember talking also about the Ronaldo jersey that I just had posted, um, which has the damaged print. And Andy said, you know, uh, I have a way to probably fix this for you. And I said, you know, this Ronaldo jersey, I need a whole lot, and actually the Zidane is for me a higher priority. Uh, can you, maybe let's do it this way. And he said, yeah, send it over. And this was then part of our mystery exchange. Uh, it took, unfortunately, a whole long while. Now, when I sent this to him, uh, uh, Andy has a, um, uh, has a um, buddy who does, as a side hustle, he puts uh, name sets on the shirts. And so I decided, he showed me a little bit of uh, the work of this guy. I was really impressed by it. And I said, okay, yeah, I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna do this. Um, I don't necessarily need to sit down Jersey all that much, but you know, uh, it would be nice. I expected it to come back maybe three or four months later. Yeah, maybe, maybe was, I think eight or nine months later. Uh, at no point was I worried that it will not happen. Uh, it was probably a little bit longer than it uh, than I was expecting it to be, but it end it ends well. Hopefully, we'll look at it in a sec. Now, uh, in order to get this number applied, and before I show you the final result, here's some pictures that Andy has taken from the whole process because uh, the number was not damaged enough. So what needed to be done is Andy needed to uh, put it twice more in a wash cycle to really, really, really get the number messed up. Um, and send it then to that guy uh, who then took a whole lot of care to remove the last uh, edges, uh, or, or, you know, the last pieces of it to have kind of a blank jersey, which you honestly, you never really get a blank jersey because there's always the print will somehow show. 
And then I got asked, because my original jersey didn't have the front number. Would I like to have the front number? Of course I would like to have the front number. If, if I can have it as good as possible, I would love to have it. And I got the back number. So it's time to examine the result. I show it to you and maybe with some more detail I can show it to you then on, on the picture. I'm so happy that this jersey, as I said, I have a pretty big emotional connection with it because of the story that I told you. I show you just the front. This is the France 2000 jersey and here on the back Zidane. Now I already see it Honestly, it is very minor, uh, but uh, I can already know, n notice the sedan print that I got originally was a little bit smaller and you can actually see it here in the zero. There's a little bit of the leftover because his friend has uh, is using the actual size um, from uh, that time. So I'm actually quite happy with that. I don't think you can see it with the, yeah, a little bit with the sedan. So my sedan was also a little bit smaller. It is... <sighs> barely noticeable but i have to say this is excellent work absolutely excellent work i'm really 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 happy with the way this looks i mean let's face it i'm not gonna wear this jersey a whole lot i actually i do regret it when i started looking at the second hand page uh of in Aus 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 austria i think i twice saw a blank of this for 20 euros and so on. i was really tempted to buy it but i at that time i didn't really uh, i didn't necessarily want to spend the, the money and now I do regret it because, uh, you know, it would have, this is definitely, is absolutely one of my favorite France churches ever. Yes, now they go with the navy that we have back up there. I really like this royal blue and I really love the, um, the red uh, line here. And then you have a little bit of a French flag in the center. The only thing is, not this, this should have been the outside. Then it would have been uh, picture perfect, but it's still, this to me is one of the best France churches ever even despite the slightly weird arms. Now you see already, I have also the front number. I am so super, I am super happy with this. This is now, I mean, my opinion on Sidan over the years has a little bit changed because Sidan, um, I enjoyed watching him. When he was on the top of his game, it was just a joy to watch him. But on the other side, it also has to be very clearly said that Sidan was not a consistent player. He only had a few really good seasons and he had of course Euro 2000 where he was brilliant, he had, had the World Cup 2006 where he was brilliant but other than that it was not always, he was not very consistent. Still when I watched him play I just loved every little bit of it and especially at these Euros although in the end I think I, I was sad that Italy lost that, that one I always thought that um, France were the worthy winners because they were an offensive team in a Euros that was very offensively played uh what a gorgeous jersey i am so happy with that i cannot believe it so once front sedan on the back i have sisu back sisu makes a return to my collection i actually see here uh, very tiny but you know it's not a biggie it, it's literally it's not a biggie i just saw it but you know wonderful I can show it to you closer again. Maybe you can see it a little bit, you know. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, um, first off, thank you so much, Andy, for enabling this, uh, setting me up. I'm really, 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 really happy uh, with, with, with the result. Yes, it took a little bit longer. And sorry if I was a little bit pesky at times, but you know. I'm happy we got it. I also am happy that we could manage in such a way that there were some other jerseys that uh, could be added to the order. And I'm mostly happy again for this parcel to only pay the five euro service fee that the Austrian Postal Service charges, which to me is the best thing because, you know, getting your own jersey back and then I would have had to pay uh, additional that just would have not, not set right with me. I have Sidan back and now I will take down, I have already taken down the 98 jersey and I will put Sidan in his rightful spot up again because that's the jersey that should be there. That's the jersey, that, but this is now for me more or less a museum piece. So very happy, very, very happy. So again, thanks Andy, uh, extend your my thanks also to your friend. I am very, very, very pleased with the outcome. And yeah, please let me know what you think about this one. The sad part is uh, from my part, 
I probably would use such a service more often. I would I, I would be about to use such a service more often uh, if there was something more locally available. But this is uh, some a business that's probably very big in the UK. Uh, around here, I really don't know anyone who would do such a restoration. So I, you know, you have to do it this way, and uh, maybe I have to take advantage of such a service again. Maybe send a few shirts in again uh, if I have proper replacements. As for the France shirt, I always had a replacement. I have enough France shirts. So yeah. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Sidan is back. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.